So here we have a five mark question on uh, the use of algebra um, and the area of a trapezium. Now the area of a trapezium is going to be on the formula sheet of your exam paper, so that's inside the front cover. Um, so you don't need to learn the area of a trapezium, but you do need to remember that, that the formula is there for you to use. So primarily this question is about the use of algebra and uh, a multi-step question. So let's have a look at it. Uh, we've got a diagram of a trapezium and each of the lengths of the side is being given by an algebraic um, equation. Um, so the top one is 2x minus 1, the side is 3x minus 2, the base is 3x plus 1 and um, the other side is 2x. It says all the diagrams, in the diagram all the measurements are in centimetres. The perimeter of the trapezium is 38 centimetres squared and it wants to work out the area of the trapezium. So the first step is we're going to have to use this piece of information here in order to work out, that will help us to work out what x is. And then once we've worked out what x is, we can use the formula of the area of a trapezium in order to work out the area. Um, and straight away there will be a mark here for making sure we use the correct unit, so that's uh, an easy mark to pick up even if we're struggling with the rest of the question. So, uh, let's have a look at the perimeter. We know that the perimeter is... A, a unit of length and it's all the way around the outside of the shape so what we need to do is write out the area uh, the perimeter of the trapezium so the perimeter equals so top length 2x minus 1 down the side and 3x minus 2 along the bottom and 3x plus 1 and up the side and 2x so what we're going to do now is we're going to gather some like terms together. So I've got 2x, add 3x, add 3x, and add 2x. So 2x, add 3x, add 3x, add 2x is 10x. And then we'll look at minus 1, minus 2, add 1 on. So that's going to come out at minus 2. So I now know the perimeter, which equals 38, is 10x minus 2, which equals 38. So now I can rearrange this equation. We can take that 2 over to the other side, and so it becomes a plus 2. 10x equals 38 plus 2, so 10x equals 40. And then we can rearrange the equation by moving this 10 across, so it comes over here, it becomes a divide, so x equals 40 divided by 10, so x equals 4, and we know it equals 4 centimetres because they've told us the units are in centimetres. So now we know that x is 4 centimetres, we can go back to our diagram, and in actual fact I would use a diagram, I wouldn't draw it out again, so I'm going to use this 4 centimetres and put that back into my diagram so then I can see the length of each of the sides because I think that's going to be the easiest way easiest way to progress. So uh, top line here 2x minus 1 I'm going to substitute in uh, 4 centimetres so 2 times 4 and I'm going to take away 1 2 4s are 8 minus 1 so that equals 7 centimetres so I now know that the length of the top is 7 centimetres the length of the side, if I was going to substitute that in, I'm not going to need that, but I'll just do that for a bit of practice while I'm just showing you. So 3 4s are 12, take away 2, so the length is 10 centimetres. The base, which I am going to need, 3 4s are 12 plus 1, so that's 13 centimetres. And uh, the vertical height, which I'm going to need, is 2 4s are 8 centimetres. So now I know the lengths of all the sides. So now I'm going to put down the area of a trapezium. So the area of a trapezium, and again this is on your formula sheets, you can look this up, it's half of the, uh, the top and the bottom, half of those two lengths added together times by the vertical height. So I'm looking at half of the top, add the base, and then I times by the vertical height. So 
Okay, so the base plus the top, the base and the top is 13 add 7. 13 plus 7, and I want half of that times by the vertical height, which is 8. So 13 add 7 is 20, divided by 2 times my 8. 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 8. So 10 times 8 is 80. So the answer is 80 centimetres squared.